order length, lesson 9.1, we can put objects in order from shortest to longest or from longest to shortest. When we compare two objects, like these two lines, the green one and the pink one, the green line is shorter, the pink line is longer, the shorter line is the smaller one, the longer line is the larger, bigger one. Comparing two objects, we put an ER at the end of short and long. When we compare more than two objects, we can put an EST at the end of the word short and long. Here we have three lines, an orange line, a blue line, and a purple line. And the orange line is the shortest line. The blue line is longer than this orange line. The blue line is shorter than the purple line. And the purple line is the longest. We can draw a missing line. The red line is the shortest line. The green line is the longest line. It's looking for one that is in the middle, in between the shortest and longest. We can draw a line that goes anywhere from here to here, anywhere in this area, and it will be in between the shortest and longest. See? So we can draw it anywhere in between there and is in the middle of the shortest and longest. See? We can draw three lines in order from shortest to longest. The shortest line would be very small. The longest line would be much bigger. And the line in between them would be in the middle. It would be a middle length. These are in order from shortest to longest. We can draw three lines from longest to shortest. Now we need to start with the longest line. So we can make a nice long line. We need to make a line that is in between the longest and shortest. So it's going to be a medium length, maybe right here. Then we need a shortest one. So he's going to be a little small one. And those are in order from longest to shortest. These are in order from shortest to longest, and these are longest to shortest. See how it slowly got bigger? And on this one, it slowly got smaller. Complete each sentence. Here we have an orange line, a purple line, and a pink line. The blank line is the longest. Do you know which line is the longest? It would be the one that sticks out the most, right? The purple line sticks out the most, so the purple line is the longest. The blank line and the blank line are the same length. Which two lines are the same length? Can you see the orange and pink line are the same? The orange line And the pink line are the same length. And the purple line is the longest. Let's see if we can fill in these blanks. The blank line is the shortest. We have a green line, a red line, and a blue line. Which line is the shortest? We can tell because it's the one that looks the smallest. The red line is the shortest. The blank line and the blank line are the same length. Can you see which other two lines are the same length? The green line and the blue line end at the same place. So they're the same length. The green line 
and the blue line are the same length. And the red line is the shortest. Here we have four red bars. We can put these four red bars in order from shortest to longest. You can do this at home too. You can make your own. You can make your own bars in any color. So we need to put them in order from shortest to longest. That means we need to start with the shortest one. Can you see which one is the shortest bar? This is the smallest, shortest one, isn't it? So we can move it right here to be the first one. Can you tell which one would be the next one? We're putting it in order from shortest to longest. That means the bars are slowly going to get longer and longer and longer. If you said this one, you're right. We can put this one right here so it's lined up. Now which one would be next? If you said this one, you're right. We're going to move this one right here. And the longest bar would be this one, wouldn't it? That's the big one. We've put the four red bars in order from shortest to longest. There's a rope, a string, and a ribbon. The ribbon is shorter than the rope. The rope is shorter than the string. So which is longest? The rope, the string, or the ribbon? We can draw pictures to help us. It says the ribbon is shorter than the rope. So we can say that the rope is this, and it says the ribbon is shorter. So we can make a smaller one and say that's the ribbon. Then it says the rope is shorter than the string. That means it's smaller than the string, isn't it? So we can make a bigger one and write string. And it's asking us which is the longest. Drawing the pictures helped, didn't it? We can see that the string is the longest. So we're going to circle string. Let's try another one. We have a toy truck, a toy rocket, and a toy car. The toy rocket is longer than the toy truck. The toy truck is longer than the toy car, which is the shortest. We can draw bars again. We could even draw a toy rocket, a toy truck, and a car. The toy rocket is longer than the toy truck. So let's make a bar. And we'll call this the rocket. It says it's longer than the toy truck. So let's make one that's a little bit shorter and we'll call that one the truck. Then it says the toy truck is longer than the toy car. So that means this truck is longer than the car. So we have to make an even smaller one so that the truck will be longer. And it's asking which is the shortest. Our picture helped us to see that it's the toy car. The toy car would be the shortest. Let's do this one. A bee landed on the shortest flower. Draw a line from the bee to the shortest flower. We have three flowers. We have this one that comes all the way up, almost touching the words. This one is very far down, isn't it? And then this one's kind of in the middle. So which one is the shortest flower? It would be the middle one, wouldn't it? 
we need to draw a line from the B to the shortest flower. So we're going to draw a line like this, going right to the shortest flower, because that's where he's going to land. Emma used the longest paintbrush to make her picture. Circle the paintbrush that Emma used. Well, it says she used the longest one. And can you tell which one is the longest one? How do we know which one is the longest? It's the one that sticks out the most, isn't it? She used this one. That's the longest paintbrush. Our next lesson is going to be indirect measurement, lesson 9.2. You can make your own bars like this, and you can get some yarn or string and make short ones, long ones, and medium ones, and put them in order from shortest to longest. You could even do it with four strings or five strings or six strings and see which is the shortest and longest. Keep trying. I'm very proud of you, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.